cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah. The jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensberry rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now to get us started, Ladies the veteran folks of the Octagon. This is fun. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Hound Dog. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. Alright, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice strike. Throws the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Body kick now by Luke. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice.
nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Got the single collar tie. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Just unable to quite find that range. He had him hurt. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Spinning back fist. Oh, collar tie. Good punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another leg kick land. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. And he landed the right hand there. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Oh, just misses with the kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He lands a switch. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Big head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that, Dewitt, we'll see very shortly. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big body kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighters. Can't. What a tricky head kick. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Flips the punch nicely there. All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. You better get his elbow down or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage of that weakness. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Single collar tie now. Unable to connect with a right hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Huge knee lands from close. And they separate. Wow. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Able to check that kick as well. Great punch landed with so much power. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Battle for position here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Spinning back fist. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. And they separate. Effective punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Let's go, let's go. Fight. Win that, win. Boy, Ty Plump. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big leg kick lands. Nice head kick. Beautiful strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. And both guys really throwing with authority. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to lay. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, man. That's, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Straight punch lands. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Third round underway. Back to the body shots now, that one. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Just out of range with that left hook. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets caught with that punch. And they separate. Oh, man, head to play. Lee's kick, that one blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. How good is that right hand? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Liver kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at him drive his shin into the bone body with that body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, doubling up on the knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice leg kick. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. How about that chin? Nice. Hands up. Breathe. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Pretty good right hand. Back and forth we go. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Ooh, big shot land. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Big knee lands to the bottom. Landed that punch flush. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that's a good right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. He's got him hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight! of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, very nice leg kick there. High-level stuff. Big head kick. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing that big body kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That strike blocked by Lee. Head kick lands. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Beautiful punch. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Checks the leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. What a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because uh, uh, this guy knew that he had to finish this fight exactly as he did. He got his opponent hurt. Found the